Hey guys, it is a couple hours later um, from earlier. My husband ended up calling me and um, I should have recorded him like walking through the house and stuff, but I didn't even think to do that until I just got on camera now. Um, my husband is down there in Albuquerque now. He just did a walk through. He's getting the cues. Please don't mind my Mr. Tooth back here. Don't talk about me. Don't don't do me. Don't do me in the comment section. Ooh, ooh. But my husband is down there now. Kevin is down there now. He is you know, getting the keys and stuff to our house or whatever. He just did a walkthrough. I absolutely love it. Like, I'm so happy, y'all. I cannot wait to do a house tour. Can I wait? Anyway, he's like, that's how geek I am right now. Like, that's how I'm feeling. I absolutely love my house. Like, I love it. Like, the fact that I came and showed out like that the first time moving out like y'all saying like out of state i'm so happy like i'm so so girl why was you that close to my car you was about to take off my whole mirror but the fact that i showed out like that my first time like moving out of state it wasn't like 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 i feel like i i don't know y'all i don't know like i'm just so happy I'm just, I'm just very, very happy. I'm trying to figure out where's my child? Where's Jason? Why do it take him so long to get out here, huh? Oh, um, Emma. What? Um, um, he, um, wow. 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 He wants to. He, he talks, um, uh, no, no. He beat up me. Oh, okay. He's he so about me. What? Yeah. He be beating up Gamil because Gamil talk about you. What would Gamil be saying about you? <laughs> what Gamil what be saying you about you? Why you gotta pause? Why you pause? No, no, no. When, when Mama left and was filming, I saw Gamil say, come on, you're my man, I love you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he was like, I love you. He was like, oh, no. And Jace came and, and tackled him down. Oh, wow. Y'all be playing too much. So the kids gotta get their haircuts. They gonna get haircuts once we get down to Albuquerque because I cannot have them going to school looking like that, y'all. Um, and the reason why, like, I didn't get their haircuts now here is because they're gonna be two weeks out of school in the new house before they go to school. Like, I enrolled the kids in school and everything. I'm a good mama, ain't I? Already got them enrolled in school and everything down in Albuquerque. Y'all, where is my child? Oh my God, he's okay. literally like the last one, y'all. Look, look, there's nobody, everybody is gone. What? Everybody, what? but my child is the last one walking up. Like, what And he's still strolling. Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, you saw, you looking like you caught a head of something. said you would take the DC though. You said what? Yeah, I got you a hot dog. Thank you. See, I'll be making sure my kid's good. I don't know if he was gonna be hungry after school. Mom, uh, you got some ketchup? Yes, sir. You know I got ketchup and mustard, man. You want ketchup? And I also got you a Slurpee. So I went to the bank today, y'all. We did a couple of things. Hunter and I, neighbor, Hunter, Ava, and I. Can I talk? Can I use English? So, yeah, we did a couple of things today. We went to the post office because when I was trying to do a forward of address online, it wasn't letting me do it. So, um. It's separating clothes. Yeah, we were separating clothes. Y'all, my house looked a mess. Like, like, you know, like super a mess now. We went to the post office because y'all, because I got a new constructed home, it the address is not popping up in USPS. I don't know what they're doing in Albuquerque, but y'all, they said, fuck your house and <laughs> we don't care about your address. And it popping up so that you could, you know, only do everything in life, especially when you're doing an address change. Like, 
I didn't realize every system, like literally, well, most systems pull from USPS. So if your address, if you got a new constructed home and you didn't go to the post office to submit like, hey, this is a new address in the world, um, a lot of places will not be able to pull up your address. Then you cannot get mail. You cannot do an address change. You cannot forward your mail. It just makes life very, 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 very struggle based. So I tried to go up there today and ask them like, hey, is it in your system correctly? Because it's saying that it is not it hasn't been done the customer service rep at the uh you at usps literally told me that like oh that's above my pay grade well can you direct me to the person that pay grade it is like you just gonna sit here and leave me hanging and i'm sitting here giving you my my forwarding of addressing it's not even registered in the system but whatever so let's hope someone feels like doing their job and give it to the person who can actually like fix it in the system so i got that handled then i had to do a change of address at my bank yeah well that's what you get for trying to sit here and skip the fucking line by going down the center lane like what the fuck <sighs> i'll be nice because i'm feeling good today i'll let them in even though they're hopping in front of me but whatever uh we well, did that then i had to go to my bank and do a transfer of address and then I had to go buy some more like cleaning products or whatever. So we are mainly just gonna be cleaning and stuff and then the kids have a, um, what y'all got today? A musical? What yeah, do you guys um, a concert. A concert, so yes, they have a musical concert tonight. So we will be um, going up there and participating in the musical concert. So I guess I could take you guys with me to that. Seeing this will be their last event here. What you mean? Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna just drop you off at your musical concert. What type of childhood trauma you think I'm trying to? I will cause you. I will not cause you no type of childhood trauma like that. My mom didn't even come to my musical concert. She just dropped me off. Best believe when Jason Hunter turned 30, they're gonna be sitting there complaining like you never supported us. You didn't even come to our musical concert. <laughs> Ain't you? Ain't you? He <laughs> back there laughing. So that's what we're doing for the rest of the night and come along with me. Uh, I'm Today is December 17th. It is pick up the uh, truck day. So Kevin and I are about to go pick up the rental truck. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm ready to go. Kevin just got back. I had to go pick him up from the airport at 3 o'clock this morning. Because his flight got delayed. So... And it was like a, a mini little winter uh, snowstorm here in Michigan. So we are on our way. I'm going to take you guys with us to Penske to go pick up the rental truck. See you guys in a minute. Guys, look. It snowed outside. It's snowing. So we got to get out here. Oh, it's cold. We got to get out here and get this stuff. Yeah, I'm ready for warm weather. I'm ready for the desert. I'm ready to just be in a total different environment. I've done this my whole life. Time to do something different. <laughs> Y'all, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, I have never done Christmas, Thanksgiving. Oh, I think I've done Thanksgiving in Chicago, but that's still cold, though. 
But yeah, I've never done Christmas anywhere else but Michigan. So this will be my first Christmas and, and my first birthday. Yes, I've never done my birthday out of state either. So this will be my first Christmas and my first birthday out of state. I know so many firsts, right? I'm so uncultured. That's cringe. Anyways, see you guys when we get to the truck rental. Okay, y'all. So this is like two hours later. So we went, we got the truck. Kevin is trailing behind me in the truck. Um, we had to go pick the truck up. That wasn't like a bad ordeal. It wasn't complicated like getting the truck. It was more so like trying to figure out how to put the um, carrier together and the uh, latch end up getting, um, what was it? The latch end up being stuck because of course we had our snowstorm last night so everything was frozen. But aside from that, everything went smooth with getting the truck. So if y'all ever like, oh, and the truck is big as heck. Like they said that you're able to move five to seven bedrooms. This is with Penske too. You're able to move uh, five to seven bedrooms and y'all like the truck actually looks like it can move around uh, five to seven bedrooms. So we just got to make sure we pack everything like nice and tight so it's not extra space where stuff is like shifting everywhere. But um, yeah, like that worked out. Then I had to go to the bank and do a name change because you guys know I, I changed my last name and I needed to change it on my bank account and I realized I had to do an address change and a name change. And um, it, y'all, it took 45 minutes to do it because I have like so many accounts. I got accounts with the kids, all that stuff. And then I also, what the heck? What is this? Oh, and then I had to uh, get brand new cards, which I didn't even think about that. So that took like 45 minutes. So right now we're on our way back to the house. Um, Kevin is about to park the truck. And then he has a couple of jobs and stuff that he needs to do. And then I'm, me and the kids are going to continue to, uh, you know, get the house and stuff together. And his mom, Kevin's mom is here too. We're about ready, y'all. We we about ready to go. Y'all, Kevin is so happy. Let me tell y'all. He is so happy to be driving this damn truck, y'all. The truck is big as hell, though. Like, when I say it's a big truck, like, it's half the size of a semi-truck. Or at least, like, three-fourths of a semi-truck. Well, yeah, it's the size of a semi-truck. Semi because then he also has the little car pulley thing on the back. So, it's about the size of a semi-truck. Yes, y'all, I am excited. I know, I know our neighbors about to be like, oh, they leaving. Yes, we are. We are out of here, y'all. See you, Michigan. Oh, yeah, one more thing, y'all. If y'all do choose to use Penske, go to one that's at like a Home Depot because Home Depot open at 6 a.m. So you can get it like as early as 6 a.m. They have the actual like Home Depot workers. Um, they have the actual Home Depot workers rent out the trucks. So, just a little tip. So guys, here's the truck. We're about to move. So, started, well actually no, we didn't start from here. This is actually an upgrade from where we started at last year. Last year we was in my mama basement. Then we ended up here. And now we're moving y'all god will elevate you if you be obedient god will freaking elevate you i cannot wait to go take y'all to the new house to show y'all like where he's elevated us to like y'all i'm just like i was flabbergasted when i seen it like the fact that everything ran so smoothly in this move like it was nothing but god god is like baby we need for you to be in new mexico why my face looks so round? Oh, I need to go to the gym. Yo, I did say I was gonna be working on that, like going to the gym and stuff. Y'all, my husband is trying to figure out how the fuck he about to get this damn truck in there. Hold on. 
Look at his ass. He trying to measure everything, y'all. He trying to, he like, damn. How am I going to back this big bitch into the damn driveway? You're going to have to figure this shit out because we can't leave it on the street like that. Not at all. We're going to get a huge ass ticket. Ooh. Look, you guys. Look how big it is. It is a moving day. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would. It is later on this day. I don't know why he got an attitude. Y'all, he always got an attitude. So I'm here with my family. We end up going out to eat, um, you know, before and spend a little time together before we leave on Monday. So we are here at Fish Bones. It's a nice little restaurant here in, where are we? St. Clair Shores, Michigan. So anyways, I'll see you guys in a minute. Every night, love to hear your voice, not sleeping well. And I know that you're right, but you should know it. You've been gone for way too long now. If I can lay down beside you, 